Hello there, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Thru-Night TC20 flashlight. Now, believe it or not, this little fella generates up to 3,800 lumens. And that is a very, very bright light from something that size. And most of that is down to the quality of the LED light in here. But what powers it is that. That is a 26650 battery. Probably showing my age now, but this is the John Holmes of batteries. It goes and goes and goes. Plenty in the tank. Lovely to hold, it just feels very, very nice. The button for on off and to cycle through the various outputs is in a very convenient place. That's a close up view of it. As I'm spinning it around there, you may have noticed a little charging point here. And that just enables it to be charged using a micro USB. So your micro end here, ordinary USB here, that can go to a battery backup, it can go into your PC, it can go into numerous plugs, it can go into a solar charger. So if you're out and about and you need to charge this high capacity battery using solar, you've got that option. You don't have to have specialist charging gear. Now the little rubbery waterproof seal that goes over there fits in very well. When I've been using this flashlight over the last few weeks, I haven't caught it once, never opened that up. This one fits in very, very well. You rip that cover off, you've got a spare one. You've got two spare seals. You've got a spare seal that goes underneath the on off switch. And you've also got a little key ring there as well if you want to attach that. To there and attach that in turn to something a little bit more substantial than the supplied lanyard. To me that is substantial enough. I am reading from the instructions. I don't normally do that but where figures are concerned I just can't remember anything at all. I've even got to write a shopping list out for more than two items believe it or not my memory is gone. So I'll cycle through the features and then we'll have a nighttime test and in that test I'll compare it to other flashlights as well. Okay, we'll switch it on just with a simple press. And that comes on at whatever intensity we had the light on when we switched it off. Apart from if it's on turbo, and that is the highest output. So say it's on low or medium, it would come on as low or medium. There you go. So it's on, we'll hold it down, and it cycles through the various outputs. Now those outputs are 38 lumens, 320 lumens, and 1,800 lumens. So that's your three main settings if you just hold the button down and cycle through them. Low, medium, high. Now if we hold this button down, wait till it comes on. Difficult to tell, but that is actually on and that's 0 0.5 lumens. That's called Firefly mode. That's exceptionally, exceptionally low power. Shifting to the higher power settings, We've got a strobe and we've got a turbo. So put it on, into turbo, double press again, and we're into the strobe. That would absolutely blind you. If somebody pointed that at you in the dark, you would be blinded. Now, as far as how long the battery in here will last at all those various outputs, I'll put that information in the video description and also in the pinned comment on the YouTube video page. I'll also put a link in there where you can check these out and possibly buy one if you're interested. At the moment, it's at a very, very aggressive price. And by aggressive, I mean very, very low for what you get. It's a good time to buy. I forgot to mention, you actually get the battery with it as well. A lot of the older through night flashlights, you didn't get the batteries with them. And a good battery can cost a fair old bit. That is a good battery. How it lasts so long is beyond me, but I think it's got a combination to do with the, the quality of the battery and the quality of the LED. Marry those two things together and you've got a light that lasts and lasts and lasts. Now you also get a little carry case, plastic loop on there that'll attach to your backpack or a belt. In fact, it's got a belt loop there. This is reasonably floppy. It's almost made of like a neoprene sort of material, but it's perfectly adequate. Goes in there. Fits in very, very nice. And really considering that this is a proper quality flashlight, you do want a carry case for it to keep it clean and to keep it safe. Right, let's check it out in the dark. 
Okay, although it is very dark, we're currently looking out towards a series of trees that are approximately 35 to 40 metres away, which is, oh, I don't know, give or take 125 to 130 feet, maybe it's a little bit more. And this is with the TC20 from Through Night. I'll put it straight onto full power. That's the only way you're really going to see those trees properly. And we'll see what 3,800 lumens looks like. And that is from a tiny little flashlight. That is lighting it up very, very well. It's not a focused beam, but it's not exactly a flood. It's somewhere in between. It lights up a large area very, very well. And right at the bottom of the pond here, just beyond the dam wall, approximately 50 yards away, we've got a massive tree. Well over 100 feet tall. Look how it lights that up. That's over 50 yards away. And it's lit up that well on the viewfinder. In real life, it's very, very bright. Right, we're going to go dual and flashlights here. The one on the left, TC20. 3,800 lumens, one on the right, TN36UT, 7,300 lumens. Both will be on full power and I'll alternate them. See if you notice much of a difference. Start with this one, TC20. TN36UT. It is lighting up more, but it's twice the power. And it's a hell of a lot bigger. The size of that on the right hand side. That's a great floodlight for searching. But that, with its more compact beam, I actually think lights up the particular trees better. Obviously you can see darkness surrounding the main part of the beam. But looking at it with a naked eye, it is lighting up a wide area. That is absolutely phenomenal. And it's a hell of a lot cheaper than that. Well, using the Amazon 5 star gradings, I would give the price of it a 5, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Similar flashlights from different manufacturers sometimes are a horrendous price and they're no better than this. Through night is synonymous with quality. It's worth the money 100 percent quality of construction again it's through night so you know exactly what you're getting you're getting quality it has to be a five out of five performance if i could give it six out of five i would but it's a five features again it's got everything you need you know so how can you give it anything less than five design whilst it looks beautiful very compact throws a ridiculous amount of light. I'm not 100% sold on this little button because in the dark, it's pretty difficult to locate, especially when you've got corners on here. You've got almost like an octagonal sort of a shape round here. So you're feeling a little bump, but it's just a corner. And then you feel another bump. Is it a corner or is it a switch? Once you found the switch, all the features are available to you. But initially finding it, is sometimes a little bit difficult. I'd give a three and a half out of five for that. You've got a waterproof, shockproof, high output, affordable, mega light throwing flashlight. It's, well, in the words of that really irritating man on the telly, Simon Cowell, I don't like it. I love it. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. If you're interested in checking out more of my reviews just check out my channel on youtube scroll down you'll see the reviews you'll see the uh, bushcraft and survival things there's some reviews in there and also if you're watching this on amazon check out my profile there's 100 and odd reviews on there all of the products have been properly tested and properly reviewed okay we'll just cycle through this to get it to high power angus get out of the way man i'm gonna blind you